Mr. Mayor, it's an honor. I'm very delighted to welcome you to my community. Um, thank you for listening to us. Thank you for you know caring our issues. And welcome. We are. There is a eight, eight to ten thousand Somali Bostonians in Boston, and as a Somali leaders here, we are here to endorse you as our next mayor. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being champion to immigrant communities. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much, Deku. Let me um, let me just uh, begin by thanking you all for, for inviting me here today. I want to thank all the leaders who spoke here at this podium tonight. Thank you for what you said. Uh, I also want to thank my dear friend, State Representative Liz Meyer as well. Uh, she is one of the best. Um, I was with her earlier today, I'm with her now, I'll probably with her tomorrow. So thank you, Representative, uh, for, for what you do for our city. Uh, city Council Michael Flaherty. Um, you know, my, Michael, um, like my family, has very strong immigrant backgrounds and roots. Um, and you know, he's done an incredible job on the City Council for a long time here in the City of Boston. And we were talking before we came here tonight at an event over in West Roxbury, and we were talking about how important the Somali community is um, to, to not just get support of, but to be part of. Because many of you are not afraid to stop businesses, many of you are not afraid to employ people, and that's, that's what makes a city so vibrant, is having such a strong community like you. So thank you for what you do. Boston is a city for all of us, all nationalities. Um, my parents came to this country in the 50s. Their generation was welcome from Ireland. But the generation right before them in the turn of the century was not welcome necessarily here in Boston or America. There was signs that hung in stores, Irish need not apply. There was cartoons in, in, in the paper of, of Irish being animals. There were cartoons about the Irish being pigs and criminals and things like that. Uh, after the Irish, the Italians were treated in a very similar way in the Jewish community. What's happening today in our country is sad because we are a country of immigrants. We are a country and a city that was founded by immigrants from different shores. 28% of the people that live in our city are from somewhere else. They were born in another country. 48% of the people in our city are one boat rider, one plane ride away from being an immigrant themselves. They're first generation like me. So we truly are a city of immigrants. It's important for us to continue that strength of a city. There's a lot of hate, as you know, coming out of Washington that's unnecessary. Hate of immigrants, hate of the Muslim community, uh, and it's unfair. But I think we can say in Boston we should be proud of what we have here. Because in the 10 months of this president, we have not surrendered once on our values who we are. And we have not had anyone, and nobody's called me in the city to say you were wrong to stand up for immigrants, you were wrong to stand up for the Muslim community, you were wrong to go to the airport and walk, walk a woman out because she was afraid to come out. Nobody has said that to me. I don't hear that in the street. Nobody's yelled at me. So there's hope for our, for our country. There's hope for our country, and I think in, in Boston, we have an opportunity to continue to be that special city that can continue to be that special city on a hill, as they call it. City with a light on it that, that we can welcome people, a beacon of hope. The Somali community is important to all of us. It's important to me for a lot of different reasons. We do have a Somali liaison. But more, what we've also done, last year when we were thinking about the police department, we put on a cadet class. And we were looking at the cadet class and we realized that we want to make a connection to our Somali youth. We want to make sure the Somali youth feels comfortable here. And we're able to put on a couple of cadets that were Somali, Somalians to get them on there that will be, become the first police department, the first police officers ever. It's about building that trust and building, building that, that support. Now, when people talk about immigrants, I, I laugh sometimes because they talk about immigrants like it's something from another, another world. Um, we all in this room might be from different places. But what we care about in this room is affordable housing to make sure that our people, when I say our people, the people of the city can afford to live in a home and have a roof over their head. That's what we care about. We care about making sure that people have good jobs and they're trained for those jobs. And there's an opportunity to be able to go to school if you want. 
I went to college late. I graduated college in my 40s. Michael went when he was younger. We went to the same school. I should have went with him. But we want to we want to support our families. It doesn't matter if you're from Somalia or you're from Ireland or you're from El Salvador or wherever you're from. It's important to understand that. We want to make sure that our young kids have a fresh start in life. Those first generationers that are here in the Somali community, one of them probably will, but one of them definitely will be more than one in politics, but also lawyers and doctors and teachers, and maybe the mayor, and maybe the president of the United States of America. You don't know. So it's important for us to continue a good, strong foundation. Safe neighborhoods. We're all worried about safe neighborhoods. We're worried that our kids can go out and go down the corner to a store and grab a Pepsi and a bag of chips and come home without having to worry about what's going on out in the street. That's what we care about. And also, we want to make sure with the small businesses, and, and as I said earlier, the Somali community is very a leader in the small business. We want to continue to, to work with you. I'm going to end in a second. In Boston, we created the first citywide plan in over 50 years called Imagine Boston 2030. In that plan, we talk about everything from housing to jobs to education, and we talk about immigrants in that plan. We talk about building our city future. In the last, in the last three and a half years, we have 30,000 new people living in the city of Boston that weren't living here in 2014. We have 60,000 new jobs that have been created in our city that weren't here in 2014. We've put 1,200 people that used to be homeless in homes in our city in the last three and a half years. Our schools are better than they were four years ago. Our graduation rates are higher, but we still have a ways to go in our city. We still have a ways to go in our city to continue to make our city great and strong. And I want to thank you. I want to thank all of the people that are here today. I want to let you know that in my prayers and Michael's prayers and Liz's prayers and the people of Boston prayers, um, the people from Mogadishu, we're in your prayers. The, why? Because that's who we are. Four years ago, I was proud to work the Somali community to try and say, be with me from here. And I know a lot of people were in the Somali community were with me. Four years later, we're lighting up City Hall, blue and white for the people of Somalia, to let them know that we stand with you. I think I can say this safely for most of the Boston City Council. We will all, in the city, in the, in the state reps, we will always stand with you. The last thing I want to say, I'm not supposed to do this, but this woman over here, she ran for city council. There was 13 people that ran. It was her first time ever running for city council. The community should be extremely proud of the work that she did. She didn't back down from a fight. She continued to push forward. She wore, 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 where she, she wore where she was on her sleeve, and she held her head high. And she came very close to being into the final. When you think about anything great in life that you need, it often starts out, it doesn't start out with a win because you don't appreciate it as much. It starts out with difficult times, with, with sometimes turmoil, sometimes losses, but what happens is you take those and you, you become stronger for them. So I want to congratulate you on an incredible campaign in the city of Austin for the first time. You made this community in this, in this church very proud for what you did. Congratulations.